Anyone who's surfed before knows how amazing it feels to ride a wave. The problem is that those feelings are few and far between. Not everybody lives next to a beach with a consistent break, so there's a need to find a way to mimic the experience of surfing outside of water. Skateboarding has evolved a lot since its inception in the late 1950s, and a new breed of surf simulating skateboards, or surf skates, has emerged. Swaltech Surfskate is one of the leading companies in the surf skate market. They've recently released their new hybrid model, so I thought that this would be the perfect time to test it out and see how the board rides. At 36 inches, it sits between the 40 inch Premier and the 34 inch Jamie O'Brien Pro model. It has the same mid-rail width as the Premier, allowing for your whole foot to fit between the rails, but has a slightly shorter wheelbase, a snub nose, and a wide tail like the Jamie O'Brien Pro. This means that you get the maneuverability and snap of a smaller board without sacrificing stability, but I'll get to that later. To design a skateboard that rides like a surfboard, Swaltech has developed a unique front truck called the V-Truck. Instead of relying on a rubber bushing for resistance, the V-Truck features a special pivot cup that allows the axle to rotate freely through 360 degrees and combines springs for progressive resistance. On a surfboard, the combination of surface area, rail shape and fin placement determines the board's hydrodynamic characteristics and thus how it rides. The riding characteristics of a surf skate skateboard are determined in much the same way with the variables being board shape, flex, truck design, and truck placement. Swaltech's surfskate system combines the V-truck at the front of the board with a traditional longboard truck at the back of the board. The longboard truck, positioned just shy of the board's tail, acts as the fins on a surfboard and provide a pivot from which the rider can carve and generate drive, thanks to the free-turning front V-truck. The result is a board that handles a lot more like a surfboard than a skateboard. Turning and carving feels incredibly close to riding a shortboard surfboard. Just like with surfing, to carve, you need to throw your body into the turn and transition the motion through your legs to the board. You can also generate drive and speed by adding power to pump through the turns just like you would on a surfboard. The positioning of the trucks feels on point. Swaltech really hit the sweet spot here. The wheelbase strikes a nice balance between stability and maneuverability, with the front V-truck set in the perfect position for tight turns and cutbacks, and the back truck positioned a foot width away from the tail. I found that foot placement with my back foot on the tail and my front foot set just behind the front truck felt very natural. The board feels really lively underfoot, and by positioning my back foot just behind the back truck, I was able to throw the tail out when needed with relative ease without the board feeling unstable. The 65mm 78A wheels are a great choice. They provide plenty of grip when you need it, for speed pumps or digging into those tight calves, but they break loose predictably when you want to shed some speed or blow the tail out. Unlike the rest of the Swaltech range, the Black Ops variant of the Surfskate Hybrid that I tested doesn't come with a traction pad. That being said, the grip tape on the tail did a great job of securing my feet through calves, cutbacks and speed checks. The coarseness of the grip tape, as you might expect, falls somewhere between standard skateboard grip tape and extra coarse longboard grip tape. My foot did slip off once or twice, but this happens, and it was probably due to bad foot placement on my part. As far as freestyle riding goes, riding fakey is really tricky due to the nature of the V-Truck. While this is not how the board is designed to be ridden, it does allow you to fakey nose manual or throw a fakey nose shiver off the tail. It's also possible to ollie the board, but I wouldn't recommend it as you'll scratch up the tail and you might as well use a regular skateboard for that. Overall, Swaltech has done an incredible job at replicating the feeling of surfing on land. The Surfskate Hybrid is a well-proportioned board that offers a perfect balance between foot placement, stability and maneuverability. Plus, it's an absolute blast to ride. Aside from taking a trip to your nearest surf spot, the closest you can get to replicating surfing is by putting on your wetsuit and jumping on one of these boards.